Um, anyway, so uh, you guys get on the cart ride. Um, those of you that are going, um, uh, kind of, you know, make make the journey um, along the way. You essentially have bumbled into Halloween Town. Everything is very autumnal, very kind of Wiccan and like arcane, and it's very welcomed here. Arcane is essentially divine magic in this town. Um, uh, you guys kind of have like this kind of inner chill. It smells like apple cider, like cracking leaves, kind of like like brown red as they fall oh, to the shit. ground. My dwarf um, would go really good in this place. Thank <laughs> you so much, dear. Uh, you guys are gonna make it around. Yep. The festivities have clearly started. There's like a big party going on in the bazaar. There's like a bunch of crazy like selling and awesomeness going on. There's a lot of street performers, puppet shows, um, circus stri- acts and outside of, you know, kind of people in costumes and acting out like legendary battles between like lichens and um, and like vampires and like there's still little, little kids dressed around like zombies pretending to eat each other they're playing like a little game that they play in the town well, um, it's all very jovial like... and very you know very fun and happy and you guys kind of look around and you're just like okay yeah i think we need this after the shit that we've kind of gone through um as you guys are walking around she's, no, she's missing this oh serena's not amused serena's, serena's kind of looking around and she's like oh god is she ever amused no no she's not <laughs> um, I, she has I found a picture of the guy my guys she was, never, she she was amused when we had like to kill John's character. Yeah, she was, she was amused when we had to kill our bard. That's, <laughs> That's pretty it. funny. Or we thought we had to kill our bard. Balthos, what's your passive perception? Passive perception is... Since I actually keep this in my car, I can keep my character sheet. I know. 12. 12? Okay. Yeah, well... It should be still be twelve because I don't think if I level one's gonna do anything. Okay. Um, yeah. My first passive perception right. is sixteen. Okay. Um, you see a blur oh. reaching towards Balas as you guys kind of start walking around. Serena would have seen this too. Does she have a high perception? Yeah. Yeah. Serena has really. Okay. High Serena would see this too. However, you don't really know them yet, so you're not really gonna warn it. You probably. I don't really assume, care. You probably assume that he deserves it or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. But uh, you you kind Serena's of. Serena's a giant bitch. You hear a sudden flash, and oh. you see it before anybody else. But all of a sudden, behind Balathos, from a rooftop, he suddenly gets pulled back into an alleyway in the bazaar that you guys are walking along. Did Cupcake find me? That's exactly what happened. Are you guys gonna follow? Yeah. Like, oh crap! Yeah. Even even though I don't particularly care for him. Sorry. Blinks like, is still walking around. Blinks is gonna go see what's going on. She just had an adventure and she just kind of drags you yeah, along. Yeah. So Serena, Serena's <laughs> just like I don't I don't take anyone kind. I don't take kindly to other assassins in this area. That, that so that's what it is. It's a pride thing. This, is my, this is. is my shit, so I'm going after him to help him. Um, so that I can kill him later. <laughs> you guys see um, Balathos grappled around the throat <laughs> by another half elf. Wow. She looks very, very. Oh, she looks very, <laughs> very. Pregnant. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Pregnant. Oh, she's she's mostly that. She, she's very dark, not quite drow like, but you can tell she spent a lot of time in the shadows. She has um, two very bright silver eyes. One is actually blacked out with only a pupil, cool. and there's a scar over top of it. Kind of really dark. It's like claws reaching oh. down over her face. Oh, she's she has a- slicked back really dark pitch black raven's hair and the cloak with leather armor. Um, around her waist you see a lot of like tokens and trinkets. You imagine she's some kind of some kind of arcane person. However, from the way she's attacking, it's a little bit odd. Around his throat you see she's holding a bright shining dagger. Serena Ooh. would easily recognize it as silver. I'm not normally into this, but I'm so hard right now. Are you <laughs> the alive? dagger kind of goes into his neck, and, and she no kind of holds, she sees everybody turning around. She kind of pulls around and like faces him towards you. She's still grappling him, holding him tight, and the, she kind of sees everybody coming, and she's just like, "I didn't know monsters like you had friends." Done, done. I would just call a monster. <laughs> I'd rather know this guy. a little bit tighter. You feel the dagger kind of cut into your throat a little bit. The, the silver burns your blood. Oh, oh. I forgot about this. Yeah, it's your half wear tighter. The blood almost cauterizes into your cut. Well, you and as she sees monster. all of you guys kind of getting a little bit closer, oh, Blinks is a little bit worried about you. She, you're a friend at this point, especially you bought stuff from her. So she you're a customer. Of, you're a customer. <laughs> so she kind of walks up and she kind of like holds her gauntlet towards this woman. Bruce, what are you doing? I kind of missed that. What happened? Someone walked up. 
Uh, Blinks is kind of walking forward. Serena is begrudgingly following behind her. Balathos is grappled, and the silver knife, this dagger, is cutting into his throat, and his blood is kind of boiling from the silver from his were-tiger blood. Hmm. So, it's, a dark, it's a dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> With this very scary arcane huntress deep. holding on to Balathos and threatening his life. It's hot. Man, now my character wishes she was there. <laughs> Do you get advantage? <laughs> well, I tell you, you get sneak attack. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I get sneak attack and advantage. Uh, I just gotta grab one. I, I'm gonna go. It ahead. is daylight. The alley's not. I mean, oh, it's dim. Fuck. Just <laughs> 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 pulled into a dark alley. So yeah, but... yeah. I, I, I kind of can't say anything. I got a hand against my oh, throat Oh, did you right actually? Now. You caged it again. All right, I, I will did. go ahead and <laughs> teleport behind her. <laughs> okay. Say family's very important. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I missed both grapples. Ten and a nine. <laughs> she's gonna duck back and kind of slink back against the, uh, like she sees you. So she's gonna kind of turn so she still has kind of, uh, vantage on everybody. Her hand kind of widens and it turns a bright, glowing, arcane red. And she starts holding it towards Balathos's face. And his face starts steaming and seething. I shove the shrinking pill it. down her throat. <laughs> <laughs> what? You forgot the, I had the shrinking pill. pill. The shrinking pill? But you. She, that, no. That doesn't matter. You're grappled. How are you going to do that? She's grabbing my throat. I got an arm. Like, oh, okay. she's holding the other arm around you. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So she's kind of holding it in front of your face. It kind of burns. You are a warlock, if at least a little bit. Mm -hmm. You clearly recognize this This woman is a I little, little bit more trained than you in, in you warlockery. <laughs> my dad's upstairs, so okay. it was such a way. Oh, is that magic kind of decision? I, I'm kind of just given my war. I'm like, I didn't really study that. I was just like, here you go. I studied a bit how to play the guitar. So I didn't, you know, <laughs> she's kind of holding a cold so in her face and it's kind of burning and she says something <laughs> something ah, something dark and clever damn it she's you, just like you weren't prepared <laughs> for this <laughs> I know there's some semblance of humanity left in you let me get it back let's talk about this over drinks dwarfs oh he's not here so a bitch <laughs> <laughs> what no you thing had actually did Yes, I do. I know this one dwarf that has an awesome drinking contest. Oh, but no. 15 plus 14 is... <laughs> Holy shit! 29. 29. I couldn't roll that if I tried. <laughs> she oh. kind of, her, her grapple kind of loosens slightly. Uh, only enough for her hand to kind of back away. You feel the burn stop, like, singeing at your face. And she oh, kind of, lo she kind of looks And she kind of looks to you, like, a little bit confused. And she's just like, how, how are you able to ask me... F for a drink. Well, well, I, a from ladies, well, I, well, I, <laughs> well, I see her hesitating. I real quick grab my dagger and throw it at her. To, like, knock the dagger out of her hand. And, like, make her... Like, okay, make an attack roll. I don't have stats for Serena right now, but... Um, I'm assuming it's probably, like, a plus six or seven. It's, yeah, so... It's I, I, I rolled a twelve, so it'd be, like... A, eighteen. An eight, it, it would be enough. Yeah. She, well, she also rolled a twelve. Um, so I'm gonna say that it doesn't hit her, but however, it's gonna make her have to, like... Kind of use the dagger that's at Balthus's throat to kind of jump it back and kind of jump back you against said the wall. Guard. Yeah, to kind of parry it away. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she kind of slinks back after losing her advantage. Um, her hand kind of lets go. Do you want to try making an arcana check to see what she was trying to do to you? Yeah. 12 plus mm -hmm. 4, 16. 16. Um, after you got your wear tiger blood, mm -hmm. you did do a little bit of research and read up on it. Um, and anyway. you remember reading a few things um, and hearing a few things after you asked around at the taverns about it too, kind of kind of lightly and simplistically, um, that there is a way to forcibly and magically remove the curse of lycanthropy from a, somebody's body, and that is definitely <laughs> what this like a, trying exorcism. To do. Oh, okay, yeah. exorcism. Yeah, she kind of That's jumps back away. She kind of <laughs> glares at you. She kind of rings her. Uh, she quickly sheathes her dagger and kind of brings her other hand up, and in like a swirl of dark arcane black. Like swirling darkness with like super bright shining moonlight shuffles around her hand and a silver <laughs> bow appears in her hand. I got my hand crossbow like and she ready. kind of and she reaches forward and another blast of like the dark magic energy and a swirling shine of moonlight pulls back to a silvered arrow. Damn, and she just... points it at you. <laughs> and then she kind of points it back to you. And then she says she kind of lowers it a little bit, because she's a little bit confused. She's like I repeat, how are you able to control the beast inside? 
Well, it usually it just involves copious amounts of intercourse, but... Oh, other beast. Uh, oh, that... Yeah. She kind of glares at you a little bit. Oh, you're talking about the other thing. Yeah, the... And I wear Tiger out instantly. This thing, right? And then I shut it off. She kind of pulls her, her, her back. She, you're not attacking her, so she kind of is under control of her abilities enough to be kind of ready, but not, like, attacking you right And now. then I shut it off. Like, yeah, I... I, At I, that, she immediately kind of drops her bow a little bit, and she looks it. absolutely flabbergasted at you. How does the spell sleep work? Sleep? Yeah. Uh, you roll the dice, and... Uh, if your dice equal their HP or more, they go really Yeah, it starts okay. with the lowest <laughs> level, so if, like, the lowest level guy has 20 hit points, and you roll, like, 40, um, it does 40, and if there's another guy nearby that yeah, has 20, 20, it'll do... Yeah. Okay. I was just making sure because I was like, oh, I should probably do that. That's it's handy. a good idea. It's handy. It gets trickier at higher levels. You kind of have to wait till mid-fight when stuff gets weakened at higher levels. Well, no. But... It's 5d8 for the first level spell. Yeah, but think about it. 5 times 8, that's a maximum of 40. Yeah, I don't know. Like so, that. you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's, perfect it, roll. Yeah, if you have, like, little tiny things, Unless you roll the, the crit on it, then you know. You're yeah, and, and then in, like, smaller situations, like, if, if it's, like, an RP situation, like, if you guys are, like, trying to talk to somebody and you cast sleep, I'm going to you know, kind of work with it a little bit, but like, what if I, what? like with the hellhounds, you guys shouldn't have been able to put them to sleep, but it sounded awesome and I liked it. So, um, anyway, uh, so she kind of lowers it and she's kind of full on track. She kind of looks around to all of you and she sees Serena is clearly like some type of a huntress. Yeah. Yeah. Which she, she kind of like gives like a small side eye, which Serena takes as a sign of respect. I'm, I'm still holding my, my hand across for her though. Cause I don't, I don't is take kindly, I don't take kindly huh? to people she like, she's a warlock assassinating people on my turf. You don't want to eat the popcorn, good... kitty. Hmm. No, she, she is a warlock kind of slash stuff. ranger. Come. That's a great combo. That's yeah. 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 Packed I'm actually looking at a picture of the war. So she, <laughs> a able, she, has, she, she has, basically this I'm character has three levels of ranger to be able to get all of the stats for hunting. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of it is just warlock packed up the blade. I don't think she'd That's be awesome. rolling around with the monster, though. Huh? I was just trying to figure out a good way to introduce the... So that's what I said. You guys are going to be trying to fight people, so I'm assuming your skeleton is going to be at least in it for pride. Like this motherfucker thinks he's better than me. Like no. Well, no, I, I was thinking. Or like, do it the Spike from Buffy route of logic. Like, why would I want to destroy the world? The world is full of walking Happy Meals. I like the world the way it is. I'm not a zombie though. I don't Ooh, humans. You're right, you're an but, but, but still, that sort of thing. Like, no, I, I, I want to use them the man. world around. I, I want to kill them. Yeah, but you know, I will. Right. <laughs> yeah. But essentially, so she kind of looks I always to you, need more body and parts. she sees what's going on, <laughs> and she's clearly she outnumbered, especially she with this strange once. abomination of a person who can control his lycanthropy. She kind of like, like, like waves her hand out, and the bow disappears, <laughs> and then she kind of stops, and she looks at you, and she's like, "See what she loves? I'll accept that me. drink along, as long as you answer a few of my questions." I can do that. Let me tell you about my latest album. As you kind of look at her, she kind of looks and she kind of nods like, to you. What? And then she looks at everybody else and nods what? to him. And she looks rum, though. So. My name is Aryan. <laughs> name is what? Aryan. Aryan? What a beautiful name. Kiss so tell me more, Ariel. How was your day? <laughs> oh, my God. She kind of raises her one scarred eyebrow, and it looks very menacing. You're going to get your ass kicked by a female. Said, like, even, even Serena at this point is just, like, face It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> like, embarrassed you. <laughs> it wouldn't be a cupcake. Don't show them the tattoo. I'm going to need that drink first. I'll see you all later. <laughs> They're going with you. you know like right? all of my characters, clearly she's gay as fuck. Sorry. <laughs> it's all Wait, the skeleton that... would have a better chance. <laughs> that makes... Yeah, he Good chance for whatever I come up with. Because mine, <laughs> mine always go for whatever. Right on. He doesn't really have the appendages to do also that. Also kind of funny. Just take a single off for why mine's not there. <laughs> she went off to have the other night with the brother. Because <laughs> I remember we left. We had that. She goes back to the keep to like... Oh no, she's in the town right now. Oh, that is mine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That would have been pretty interesting. It's like... What are you doing here? Your brother. <laughs> You're mostly that. Your brother. What are you doing here? Uh, your brother? Your brother? Like, uh. That was good.